It's the fourth and final game of this series between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox. Tigers have won the first three games in this series. Tigers will send a young man making his major league debut to the mound tonight. Ty Madden gets a start for the Tigers, Davis Martin. The Tigers are 65 and 66. They can get to the 500 mark for the first time since early June with a win tonight. They now get ready to face the 27-year-old native of Abilene, Texas. Popped up off the bat of Meadows. And going out range to make the play will be Nicky Lopez for the first out here tonight. Two out walk for Veerling. And that'll bring up one of the hottest rookies in the game right now, Colt Keith. 1-0 is bounced to short, and Lopez right behind second will pick and step on the bag, and the threat is over. Tigers strand one. We have more Maddens here than they have in the NFL Super Bowl archives. That is the Ty Madden family here to see their friend, son, husband, everything to everybody. Ty Madden on a major league mound for the first time ever. And Ty compiled 124 strikeouts in 96 and two thirds innings at Erie and Toledo. He won't turn 25 until February 21st. Oh my goodness. That is the loudest ovation from a section for a first pitch strike. I don't I think I've ever heard. Look at that. So cool. On the ground up the middle to shortstop. Trey Sweeney handles out number one. That's ball four. Robert takes a walk. Dingler's got a pretty good arm behind the plate, but with a pitcher that doesn't have pinpoint location, you never really know what you're going to get to try to throw out a base stealer. I would assume that Luis is probably going to run early in the count somewhere. There he goes. Luis Robert Jr. takes off, and he goes under the glove of Torkelson at first. Robert Jr. realizes, and he scoots to third. So the White Sox with a break here in this first inning. Yeah, watch Spencer turn his body, almost getting ready to throw that ball to second base. And when he turns, that ball goes underneath his glove. That's probably one that Spencer would like to have back. And the batter is Vaughn. It's this one well to left center, but McKinstry in there to track it down as Luis Robert Jr. will tag and score from third to an RBI sack fly for Vaughn. As the Sox strike first and lead it one to nothing here in the first inning. Torque spears this and finishes the bottom of the first inning. So Madden gets his first three outs. It's an unearned run. We'll go to the second. And Chase Young will start off this second inning with a single. So with two outs, it's Trey Sweeney. Ground ball up the middle. This is into center field. That's a base hit. Chase Young turns second for third, and the Tigers are very used to going first to third. That is the 22nd time this month. That'll bring up Dylan Dingler, the catcher. Dingler attacking that first pitch. Davis Martin gets himself out of the jam. Sox lead it 1 0 early. Every out has been on contact so far. No strikeouts yet for Davis Martin, who's only thrown 37 pitches. And a swing and a miss on a high fastball. That's strike three. Carpenter retired. First strikeout for Martin. The one two. He got him on a foul tip. So Martin goes one two three. So the second hit tonight for the White Sox off Ty Madden. That's up high. It's ball four. Back to back base runners. And we'll see how Ty Madden responds to this. And Luis Robert, we talked about it the other day, how he likes to jump on first pitches. On the ground, Sweeney at shortstop. Nice pick. He'll throw to third and get the out. Rangy play from Trey Sweeney. Score at six to five. Ben Intendi pops out for the second out of the third inning. Ty Madden now has to get Andrew Vaughn to get out of this jam. Vaughn, shallow right field. That's down for a base hit. Beerling's up with the ball. His throw to the plate is not in time and all the way to the backstop. They have a chance at third, and that's late as well. It's two nothing White Sox. Andrew Vaughn. Worked the count to 2-0 and oh and drove in the first earned run against Ty Madden in his career. Madden was not in a good position to back up. He was not in line with the throw and the throw gets by. It goes E9. But if Madden's in the right spot, he catches this and probably gets the out at third. That is now three straight games for Andrew Vaughn driving in two runs at the plate. Brings up Gavin Sheets. Runners at second and third. Big out to get. Swing and a miss. First strikeout. For Ty Madden gets him out of trouble here in the third, but keep that baseball. Somebody in that section is getting it. Back to back two out hits. And now Trey Sweeney. Sweeney high in the air. Right field. Fletcher back at the warning track. And there's evidently a wall before the wall. And once again, the win keeping it in the ballpark. 
So with two outs in the second, Tigers put two on, did not score. Two outs in the fourth, put two on, did not score. Here in the fifth, they put two on with two outs, see if they can break through against Davis Martin. The red hot Colt Keith is at the plate right now for the Detroit Tigers. Left side, that's a knock. First to third again. Veerling is safe and behind it. Colt Keith ends up at second. The Maddens and all the Tiger fans are loving it here. Colt Keith, that we've seen him inside outs this ball in the left field to drive in a run. And then Matt Veerling just pushing the envelope. And if he can get a throw from Andrew Benatendi, Colt Keith can go into second base. And that's exactly what happened. Jace is testing the patience of his brother, right? This is a long at bat for both of them. Got to swing on that changeup. So Davis gets out of the jam. Tigers get one. And a walk to Benintendi with two outs here in the fifth inning. And this should do it for the half inning. Torque, birthday boy, sprinting in. Nice job. And here's that handshake from A.J. Hinch after five solid innings from Ty Madden. Now let's see if the Tigers can answer back, get a couple of runs. Parker Meadows, Schuster in his second inning of action. Sox two, Tigers one. That ball's crushed. Deep right field. So much for that White Sox lead. We're tied at two. Got a whole bunch of sliders and tries to sneak a fastball by him on that inside part of the plate. And that's a bad place to put it if you're a left-handed pitcher to a left-handed hitter. They're just going to open up and be able to launch just like Parker did. And we got a whole new game now. Yeah, we do. And he knew it on oh, contact. Yeah. Guess what? Veerling's going first to third. The Tigers continue to take that extra base. And runners at the corners, one down. Brings up Jace Young. First pitch, line drive into left field. That one's going to drop in front of Benintendi. Veerling read it all the way. He will score. Jace Young delivers with one out in the seventh inning. And the Tigers take a 3-2 lead. Boy, just just another good swing. Just inside out steps, all fired up. Looks in that Tigers dugout. Yeah, we took the lead. That'll be kept on that phone for a while. Justin Anderson gets brought in to face Torkelson. Spencer is two for three on his birthday. Tork high in the air center field. Robert back at the track. Happy birthday, Tork Bomb! Tork got a present for the White Sox. And the Tigers break it open here in the seventh, now lead at six to two. You want to talk about balls getting hit. It wasn't but one park in America holding that one. That's Yellowstone. And Spencer <laughs> Torkelson absolutely punished that ball to center Ooh, field. Wee. It was a slider up and away from him, and he hits it off the batter's eye. Look at the smile on his face. Bottom of the eight, six to Detroit. And Andrew Benintendi. Well, it's a right. Deerling looking up, and it is long gone. Andrew Benintendi with his 14th home run of the season. Cue the fireworks. Sox will need a few more of those here in this bottom of the eighth inning. 14 and 44 for Andrew, whose season has come alive about the halfway point. He started to hit the ball at the ballpark, and he continues to do that. Two outs in the ninth inning. Tigers leading by three. It's up to Brooks Baldwin. He'll bat right-handed. Keith to first. Tyler Holton and the Tigers complete a sweep of the White Sox and have climbed and scratched all the way back to 500 at 66 and 66.